Fish on the grill can be a little finicky, but with the right tips, you can master this technique, and I'm gonna show you how. I'm doing one of our top rated marinated grilled salmon recipes. This is gonna be so packed with flavor. You can do it with whatever fish you like though. This recipe will work great. I'm gonna start by combining a little soy sauce with some brown sugar. Keep in mind, anytime you've got something sweet on the grill, it might have a tendency to stick and burn, so just be mindful. To the soy sauce and brown sugar, I'm adding in some vegetable oil and a little bit of water. Whisk it up. If you do choose to marinate your fish before grilling, I would make sure that there is a fat or some sort of oil in your marinade. That'll keep it from sticking. I'm gonna season the surface directly on the salmon before I add it to the marinade. I'm gonna add a little garlic powder, lemon pepper, and salt. I like adding the seasoning right to the surface because that's gonna help deliver a better crust. He agrees. And I like to go generous on my seasoning because I like the crust. Now I'm gonna add the salmon to a bag to marinate. This makes for easy cleanup and faster marinating. Pour the marinade right over the fish in the bag, seal it up. We're gonna let this marinate for about two hours and then it's grilling time. The main reason why fish is a little intimidating and finicky on the grill is because it has a tendency to stick. And it's not really the fish's fault, it's our fault because we try to flip it too soon. A Couple things to make this go a little more smoothly is to make sure that your grill is nice and clean. I like to get it hot first before I give it a scrub because it tends to come off a little easier. The next very important thing is to make sure your grill is nice and hot, pretty much screaming hot. That's the only way that the fish is going to be able to naturally release. If your grill's too cold, the skin's just gonna stick to the grates. I like to maintain a temperature that kind of mimics what is roasting in the oven, so somewhere around 400 to 450 degrees. And then finally, we want to oil our grates. It's just like oiling our skillet if we were doing this on the stove. I like to wad up some paper towels nice and thick. You could also use an old dishcloth and just use your tongs, dip it in a little high heat oil, and then just rub it lightly across the grates. Oiled grates plus high heat is gonna be easy release. Just gonna remove the fish from the marinade and you just wanna shake off any excess so there's not too much sugar in there that's gonna burn. Lay it down and then don't touch it. If you want nice caramelized grill marks, then you wanna start with your flesh side down. If you're not really concerned with the grill marks, you can just put it skin side down and leave it like that until it's cooked. And then just relax. The fish have a natural little thermometer that tells you when it's ready. And that is when it easily releases from the grill. Another little natural thermometer. When you start to see the little white stuff start to come out, that's when it's ready. If you wanna leave the skin intact or if you're removing it from the skin, a good fish spatula or any sort of just really flat spatula is gonna be the best way to get it off the grill. It just easily slides off the skin and then you can just leave the skin on there to finish cooking and just scrape it off at the end. This is gonna be so good. Smells incredible. I can almost taste it already. And nothing brings some grilled fish to life like a little squeeze of citrus. And then a little fresh sprinkle, green onion. This is the perfect summer meal. It comes together in a matter of minutes. It's so delicious. And see, it's really not that hard. Just trust the process and you will have a successful grilled fish every time. My favorite part is the caramelization that's on the outside. That is because we left it alone and let those grill marks happen. So tender, you can just tell. Flakes right off with a fork. Perfect bite, you don't even need the accompaniments. Wow, you definitely need to get outside and get cooking. I hope you are going to brave it and 